We'll come to a video that will prove the formula used to determine the angle between two vectors. Let's first review the formula. If u and v are our two vectors, then the angle theta between the two vectors can be defined by cosine theta is equal to u dotted with v divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. Now before we start our proof, what we want to do is take a look at the sketch of vectors u and v. So here's vector u in blue and vector v in red. Now we want to determine v minus u or v plus the opposite of u geometrically. Remember to do that, we have to sketch the opposite of u at the terminal point of vector v. And we see that here as this thin blue vector. So vector v minus vector u is going to be the vector with its initial point at the initial point of vector v and its terminal point at the terminal point of the opposite of vector u as we see here. What we're going to do now though is reorient these vectors so that u and v share the same initial point and v minus u would form the third side of a triangle. So for our proof, we're going to be using this triangle here. And we're going to start by applying the law of cosines to this triangle. So again, here's the sketch of the triangle that we're going to use, and here's a review of the law of cosines. And so we're going to let the magnitude of u minus v be side c, so we'll have the magnitude of vector v minus vector u squared must equal the magnitude of u squared plus the magnitude of v squared minus 2 times the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times cosine c. So cosine c represents the angle between the two vectors. Let's go ahead and call this equation 1. And now we're going to introduce a dot product. If we take the magnitude of v minus u squared, it's going to be the same as v minus u dotted with v minus u. Remember, if we square this magnitude, this squaring will undo the square root and the result would be this dot product. Now taking a look at the right side, again using the properties of dot products, this would be the same as v minus u dotted with v. Remember, it's almost like distribution. And then we're going to have minus v minus u dotted with u. Again, the minus sign here came from the subtraction sign here. And now we'll go ahead and expand this. This is going to be v dotted with v minus u dotted with v. And then here we're going to have minus v dotted with u. And then lastly, we'll have plus u dotted with u. Let's go ahead and recopy this last line on the next slide and then continue. Now we're going to go ahead and rewrite v dotted with v as the magnitude of v squared. Now remember the order of the dot product doesn't matter, so here we actually have minus 2 times u dotted with v. And then again we can replace u dotted with u with the magnitude of u squared. We'll go ahead and call this equation 2. And what we're going to do is combine equation 1 and equation 2. Let's go back and look at equation 1. Remember we started with the magnitude of u minus v squared is equal to all of this because of the law of cosines. So what we're going to do now is take the right side of this equation and set it equal to the right side of equation 2. So we have the magnitude of u squared plus the magnitude of v squared minus 2, the magnitude of u, magnitude of v cosine c. It's going to be equal to what we have here in blue. So the magnitude of v squared minus 2 times u dotted with v plus the magnitude of u squared. Now this equation is going to simplify nicely. Notice we have the magnitude of u squared on both sides, here and here. Those would simplify out. And the same thing with the magnitude of v squared here and the magnitude of v squared here. 
So now if we can solve this equation for cosine c, remember c is the angle between the two vectors, we should have our formula. So the last step is going to be to divide both sides by negative 2, magnitude u, magnitude v. Let's see what happens here. So on the left side, notice that all of this simplifies out. We're left with cosine c. And then on the right side, the negative 2 simplify out. And we have our formula. We have u dotted with v all over the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. And there we have it. And I've also provided some examples of determining the angle C in another video. I hope you found this proof helpful.